Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. Now then, some new news. Some new news. Indeed, this is TVC News with your host, Only One Kenobi. And the new news is they have announced or shown images of a new Mandalorian figure for the Vintage Collection, which we all knew damn well it was going to happen. There was no way they were going to leave that character out of the uh, line. So I just, I've just been spending a few minutes looking at the trailer again because there's some really good shots of the Mandalorian in that trailer obviously as a trailer is the best bits of a film or TV series anyway um, and I really hope we get a good card back for this because the figure looks great I already have the six inch figure which is absolutely fantastic I've got the carbonized one and the regular one so check my review out on that if you want to see it but um, you know in the, the three and three quarter inch we've already seen how exceptional the figures are in that line even the Stormtrooper from Rogue One has been turning a lot of heads of six-inch collectors, you know, because the, the sculpt of that helmet is better than the six-inch one. So, anyway, whatever they do, it's going to be a good figure. But what my concern as a carded collector, as well as an opener, because I, I definitely want it loose, um, I want it carded, though, is, is what the card is going to be like, because um, we've been let down by a lot of card backs they've chosen, Hasbro. It's obviously limitation with what you know Lucasfilm will give them, but here's a few images that I have snatched now from the trailer, which were great, and they've become iconic because they are from the trailer, our first exposure to the Mandalorian, and they go down now as definitive in you know publicity images of that character, and some really good ones. Uh, in in order of appearance in the trailer is this first shot, which is just incredible. That would make an awesome card back. Um, brilliant card back. He's outdoors, the lights shine off the helmet. That would be brilliant. Then there's these other dark, dark ones. I mean, Solo, a Star Wars story, was a really dark film as well. I'm hoping this is going to be along the, the, the same lines of direction. You know, Dave Filoni will do a great job. But, you know, the dark, gritty feel. And even Rogue One, to some extent, had that feel to it. I loved it. For all the criticism people give to Disney, I think they're doing a really good job. I'm, I've not been paid to say this. I'm not on any kind of commission by Disney. I've only got a thousand and one point three thousand subscribers. My point is that that's the honest truth. I, I, I've been very happy with, apart from the Last Jedi, with what Disney have produced. And there's people who want Kathleen Kennedy's blood. You know, it's ridiculous. Calm down. <laughs> but um, I, I just, I, you know, my only gripe with the uh, just just digressing before I go back to talking about the images. My only uh, gripe is the fact that I don't think that I'm going to get. Um, hold of Disney Plus from the word was that it wasn't available in the UK but I will look into that if there's any new news on that let me know so the other images are these other shots I just thought I'd show you I don't know if they'd make a good car back or not that's a longer shot of the Mandalorian there with the kind of a I love that sequence it's a, a standoff there's like three or four people holding guns weapons there so it's got the western feel to it which is what they always said about Star Wars it had a bit of a pirate edge adventure you know, yellow, what's it called? Not yellow submarine, uh, the yellow brick road, um, Wizard of Oz. Some people talk about that kind of the original Star Wars I'm talking about now, but this, uh, and then they always, they always said it was like a gunslinging Western, like with a cantina and a Western bar, but this seems more along that line anyway than anything we've seen before. Look at that great shot I just snatched. Ah, uh, I screen grabbed that from the trailer. You can see his weapon going off. But I think the best shot would be, well, like, you know, this one here is at the very end when he says, Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Don't you agree? And he just sort of like looks at him. So that's another nice shot. Slightly darker, so I think my choice would be, if I was to choose an image, would be that one. This one from the very beginning of the trailer. Beautiful, that, you know, because it's a chrome helmet, I suppose. A bit like um, Django Fett's had a kind of a lighter silvery chromey finish. This guy's does as well, and outdoors sets that kind of metal off, doesn't it? So that's awesome. So here are some shots of the figure. The figure is um, looking really good. Um, really excited to see that. I saw it shared by Bosk's Bounty on Instagram, by Steve Evans on <laughs> Instagram. Uh, it's a blast from the past there, Mr. Evans. I don't think has anything to do now with Star Wars anymore, but it's nice to see he is still interested in the franchise. And then look at that. Look at the weapon. It's going to be great. So there you are, there's some new news, new figure, fantastic. 
Uh, speaking of other vehicles and figures, there is, there's also this Mandalorian, I've mentioned it before, the Mandalorian AT-ST. And if you want to check out a review of that, Bosk's Bounty has got a review of it right now. I don't know if I'm going to buy that or I'm not really that fussed about that one because I've only just got an AT-ST from the Rogue One line of the Black Series, which is the sandy finish, which is a great vehicle. It hasn't got that stupid uh, vintage collection... Um, <laughs> chocolate feet that they have on the vintage collection version so I, I'm not in a hurry to get another ATST. I, I, I'll be interested to see how it's used in the actual Mandalorian series though and if it's any good I'll get it but it has that pirate edge there like there's someone's obviously obviously taken over an ATST and painted it in their own colors or whatever <laughs> so it's got that outlandish feel I hope the series is really good I am looking forward to it let me know your thoughts on the Mandalorian which is out on the screen or whatever out in public by November the 12th on Disney Plus. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.